youth, impetuous fire. What is a maid, ice and desire? The world wags on. A rose will bloom. It then will fade. So dies a youth. So dies the fairest maid. Comes a time when one sweet smile has its season for a while. Then loves in love with me. Some may think only to marry. Others will tease and tarry. Mine is the very best parry. Cupid he rules us all. Caper the caper, sing me the song. Death will come soon to hush us along. Sweeter than honey and bitter as gall. Love is a pastime that never will pall. Sweeter than honey and bitter as gall. Cupid he rules us all. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, a gentle sin is this, my lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth the rough touch with a gentle kiss. Pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much. Which manly devotion shows in this? For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmers kiss. Have not saints lips and holy palms too? Aye, pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh, oh then. Dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray, grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints, do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not. While my prayer's effect I take. Thus, from my lips, by thine, my sin is burned. Then have my lips a sin that they have took? In from my lips, O oh, trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. A rose will bloom, it then will fade, so dies the youth, so dies. 
fairest maid. Juliet! Lady Juliet! Uh, nurse? Uh, uh, your mother craves a word with you. What is her mother? Hmm? Married bachelor. Her mother is the lady of the house. And a good lady and a wise and virtuous. I nursed a daughter that you talked with all. Hmm. I tell you, he that shall lay hold of her shall have the chinks. Is she a Capulet? Oh, dear account. My life is my foe's debt. <laughs> oh, what ho, oh, my mistress is! What, will you be gone? It seems so. For God, it is so very late that we may call it early by and by. Good night. Sweet my lady Julie. Come here, the nurse. Hmm? What is yon gentleman? Count Paris. No. What's he that follows there? Huh? Oh, I know not. Go, ask his name. Hmm, Romeo of the House of Montague. What? His name is Romeo and Montague, the only son of your great enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Too early seen, unknown, unknown too late. Oh, prodigious birth of love it is to me. But I must love a loathed enemy.